Listen to this. Right over here. Watch. There's two birds that have followed me all the way from the parking lot. I'm walking down playing this, and they're following me. They'll go ahead of me, they'll land in a tree, singing the whole time, just joining me. Background, backup singers. <laughs> Listen to them. The beetles have gotten to this tree. Uh, I've already found three lost hikers. Two separate sets. A kid and his mom, and a guy and his dog. Three, three people in that dog. They just don't pay attention. Forks in the road, they just keep walking. They're coming down here looking for the bighorn. I said, man, you got a long walk. <laughs> You're way off. Listen. Two women crying. This is Lost Hiker Day. They're way down here looking for Tom Vince's mine. They said Yelp told them to come down here and they downloaded an app and the app was taking them to the mine they're about six seven miles off walking down here in tears <laughs> there is no app that replaces learning the map a brain and common sense you got the brain the common sense the map and a compass, there's no app ever going to beat that. So that's, let's see, seven, seven lost hikers I've already found in my first hour and a half. <laughs> that's a new record. The most any hiker has ever been off that I found off, I found two girls hiking in bikinis um, on the bowl, uh, Mount Baldy Bowl hike. And they're near, they're near the, the top, when you get to that top and hit that rest, where you can go out to the point, or you go the other way, past those crashed planes. So they're, they're, they're within an hour of the top. And they asked me, how much further is the bridge to nowhere? They wanted to go swimming. I'm like, man. You are in the entirely wrong part of the range. They said, well, their app took them there. <laughs> you better delete that thing before you end up in Nigeria.
that ridge right there, that is the ridge that is southeast of uh, Mine Gulch. So Mine Gulch will be down there. Prairie Fork's gonna be over there. You can't see them yet. But this ridge back here, and back of this, there's another ridge that you can take that from Baden Powell. From the southeast corner of Baden Powell, you can take that ridge all the way down to a peak that is uh, west of Alder Gulch at the west end. That peak goes to a, uh, that trail goes to a summit right there, to a peak. I've yet to spend the night up there, but maybe someday. Look at the size of that guy. In my hand, look at that. Massive. Fork trailhead, bottom of it. Um, that goes up to some really nice campgrounds. There's an old cabin remains back there, barely any of it left, uh, where the first postmaster of the lowlands resided. It is said he has a stash of gold back here somewhere. It probably will never be found. But uh, look at this stick I found. Usually you find sticks like this when they're soft from being in the water. This one's hard. Um, it, it, it's a root that grows around all these rocks. Then all the rocks and bank get washed away. That's what you're left with. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to make something out of this. Maybe the top of a wind chime. That's probably what it's going to be. I have presently have three wind chimes in the makings. Uh, cut across over there to Mine Gulch and put some blister pads on my big toe and my little toe. Breaking in these boots. I really got some hot spots going. I didn't see any bear, I didn't see any deer, bobcat. I heard something, probably just a raccoon or a possum. Pretty small. Saw a bunch of lizards, no snakes. I'm looking for one rock amongst all these rocks. There are a couple of land identifiers though, and I'm not near it yet. On the other side of that, about another hour. I'm already down to where it starts getting narrow. Pretty soon, there's a uh, piece of wood that looks like a horse. I, I'm below the item I'm looking for. I was hoping I'd find it in this time out. Um, I don't know how many of these trips I have left in me. It's a rough hike. You can ask Monica, Lewis, or Charlie Kila. Uh, I was asked recently, what would it take for me to guide somebody through here from one end to the other? Leave there and car at Heaton, drive them in my truck around to Vincent's, let them use my gear, carry the majority of the load, cook for them, basically Sherpa. And in the last five hours, I've been turning that over my head, the use of my gear, the use of my truck, the use of my back, my time, I probably couldn't go less than 300. I know it sounds ridiculous, but think about it. That's use of a Terra Nova tent. That's all your cooking done for you. Everything's carried for you. Uh, with my truck, 40 or so of it's going to gas. 
So it's not like I'm making a lot of money on the deal. So for those of you asking, it'd be about 300 bucks, and that'd be for one person that cannot carry for two. But if you wanted to carry your own, and I carry your wives or girlfriends, uh, still 300. But then when we get to the other side, you have to drive me back to my car. So question answered. I'm gonna go down a little bit more if I don't see what I'm looking for. Head back and just start turning rocks over. Look at those big orange sheep coming through here this morning. Now, if I do do if I did do that for you, that Sherpa thing, I wouldn't call it Sherping. I'd call it alone. I'd know I'm renting you my gear. That's what I'd call it. And you I would take no responsibility for you if you fall or anything. I'm not a guide. That's not what I do for work. I'm just renting you my gear, doing your cooking, and giving you a ride, and showing you the way. I'm not a guide, so you'd have to sign something saying, hey, I'm not responsible for you. It's a dangerous trail. I mean, there's a lot of rocks to fall on. Look. They all roll. I've fallen twice today. Once in the river. So, for my own safety, you'd sign something saying I'm not responsible for you at all. I'm just renting you some gear. <sighs> Finding a rock in this Riverbed is like finding a needle in a haystack. A golden needle in a haystack. Look at this little guy. And he's gone. Well, I'm giving up. I've gone up and down this river six times. I'm gonna start heading back. Scrub the mission. I won't say what I'm looking for. Maybe I'll find it another time. Although it's highly doubtful. Would have been cool though. I was gonna turn it into a clock for my daughter. There's somewhere between here and the other side of that mountain I'm gonna spend the night I believe unless I full on energy just stays with me in which case I'll make it back to my truck in about five hours nightfall's coming now so we'll see okay I went this is mine gulch I'm back at mine gulch I come down from um, Vincent and uh, made it down here in a few hours but then I went all the way down to Alder Gulch and a little bit past and then back up almost to Pine Mountain and then back to Alder and then back to Pine four times looking for a certain something to make something out of. Didn't find it so I'll come up another time but as I'm walking past here I was going to set my pack down there and put some mole skins on my feet because I'm breaking these new boots and I got blisters and I hear Alan, Alan and What's your name? <laughs> Albert, Albert, right? Yeah. And uh, if you want, I'll put a link to you down below in the details, your YouTube channel. Oh, I don't have a YouTube channel. Oh. I just... I always take it for granted that everybody <laughs> up in these mountains will have a YouTube channel. Yeah. But he got dropped off up at Vincent Gap and he came down and uh, he's over there in that lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bring that lawn chair. But uh, together, we're going to get all this trash together in, a, in the morning. Put in a tarp, including that lawn chair. We're gonna try to get this stuff out of here. We're gonna try. There's a lot here, There's huh? There's a lot. But we'll get I, we'll get a good chunk of it. This is so surprising that as far down as we are, there's this much trash down here. It's a lot. But uh, he says he's gonna spend the night in his tent. He says right here. I don't know. But uh, I think I'm gonna set my bivy back up over there next to that log. I can put my lamp on that log or something and 
way there. I don't know, but he's never seen the bighorn mine, so I'm going to take him down here to this little peninsula at the end of this little island here and show him the bighorn. And then we're going to come back and have dinner. Start cleaning up. Wait till you see what I brought in there. You're not going to believe it. Okay, for any of you who have been back here at Vincent Gap, I mean, Mine Gulch, you saw how it was back there? Check that out now. Look at this. This is 30, 40 minutes. Whiskey bottles, cans, all kinds of cans, jumper cables, um, boots, wheels, propane. Oh yeah, those big square angle batteries. Ever ready? Those huge ones. A lot of cans. A lot of cans. Some clothes. Bucket lids. That's not trash there. The only thing we're leaving, we're leaving that tin. We can't carry it. Leaving the frying pan. People use that. The spoon. I've used that three times now. Uh, leaving this chair and this chair mainly because they're in decent shape and we can't carry them out. Every time I come up, I use it. <laughs> <laughs> now, for, for a few years, Martin and I and other people have wondered, how did that baby carriage get back here? Well, guess what? I run into the guy. What did you do? I saw the people bringing it down here. How many, how many years ago? Oh, that was probably, oh, I'd say maybe about two, three, maybe, years. I think. I can't remember. It's been a long time. There's a baby. I'll show you that thing back here. But look at the difference. There was all this paper. So we're, we're more than paying our rent for the night. Look at this. This was full of trash. That thing there is just too big and heavy. Maybe one of you guys can get that out of here. Uh, he saw them bringing that down from Prairie Fork or from Vincent? From Vincent Gap. I saw him. With a baby? No baby. It was full of stuff for camping. So if that was you, come back and get your crap and get it out of here. Look at burning the candle yeah. at both ends. <laughs> it looks a lot better. Look at this, all this trash. Oh yeah, and that little pit over there that had all those propane cans, bottles, that's empty, it's clean. So I came down here to get something, didn't get it, apple tree, but um, ended up doing a cleanup. I was gonna get out of here tonight until he called me and then I thought, ah, I'd spend the night. So, all's well that ends well. We're gonna tie that up, put a stick through, and like, like the, uh, in the jungle where they carry them, in the Bugs Bunny cartoons, the stick from his shoulder to his shoulder to my shoulder, that boo ah ga boo <laughs> We're gonna lace that up and try to get that out of here this way. And it's gonna be fun. We have the MRS kettle. And that's one of those pops can stoves. Monica gave me that. I forget who makes it. And I got this from uh, bachelors.com. I have the sweet and sour pork, measuring cup, sport, water, fuel. Look at this. He'll be at one end, I'll be at the other. Probably about 60 pounds of trash. Just bought that paracord at Ace Hardware. Let me show you what else I bought. I also bought 10 nails. I was gonna make a stretcher type cart out of some logs to drag something out. I brought the chisel from Red Rock Canyon that I found at mine, and I borrowed this off of Char Charlie. I have a couple of lights I'm gonna show. Scrambled eggs for breakfast. Look at that, look at that spider. Whoa, get out of there. Um, I bought pry bar for digging. Actually, it's old fashioned type for lugs, but it's gonna dig that rock out. A rock is what I was after. I brought this to wrap it in so that if I dropped it, it wouldn't break. Got my Tyvek. I have my, uh, let's see. Well, my, I have my bivy, my advanced research bivy. 45 bag, just for kneeling, for working on the rock. I'm gonna do a little gold panning. Brought my gloves. 
pillow, uh, moleskins, ace bandage, toothbrush, stuff like that, some duct tape, and a trash bag going around the rock, some safety glasses for chiseling the rock, uh, a flute, pillow, gloves, jacket, tripod, camera, that's about it. Trash bag. Okay, see that yellow cord? Wrapped around the bark there. Shoots over to that branch. Comes down. Boom. The Outdoor Research Advanced Bivy without the poles. I just have my 45 bag. My half, whatever these are called, X frame thing. Lumberjack pillow. Now that only comes down to your hips, so I have my um, what's it called? My ULA circuit inside a trash bag so it can get filled with spiders or scorpions. And uh, make sure you shake it out in the morning though, because I've had them travel home with me, believe it or not. Dump my pack out at home, scorpion. Um, so I got it right here with the buckles clipped down below so the nets on top it's tied in the trash bag that's my feet and let me zip it up and show what it looks like so there we are no poles in it at all no poles I'm gonna leave this open to start off with I can see the skies if it gets cold which it probably will because I've only got a 45 I can just zip up. Bottom vent. Um, it's closed. I'm going to leave that closed. Further testing of the Outdoor Research Advanced Bibby Gore-Tex. If you know this one, there's usually a pole in there and a pole there. I'm just leaving it out. Not that it's that much weight. I just want to show the versatility of this shelter. What is this tent? It's the um, Big Agnes Seed House 1. It's almost like the same exact tent as the Terra Nova, just different materials. It's got the same one piece frame, one continuous piece. Comes up, loops, goes over. Oh, your door's over here? Yeah. That's that's different. Okay, my door on the Terra Nova, it's right here. On the side. Yeah, you got yeah. a and you have a vestibule that and you got a little port. It's cool yeah. because you got a little you got a porch right here that comes out where you can put your bag and it leans up right here. Oh, okay. It fits my I, I, I circuit too. A, I had um, oh, it's been a long time. I can't even remember the name of it, but I had one like that. The uh, the vestibule was on the side, and you could put whatever. You vestibule know. is about ten inches over here, and then as you get down here, it goes down to about two inches. So, right in this area, you got enough room for your boots, your trekking poles, and yeah. your light. And yeah, it makes it so much nicer. You don't have to leave it sitting out. Yeah. Well, in that bivy, believe it or not, I'm taking all of my stuff inside with me. I I know. I've I've seen. I've watched your video when you did your demonstration on that. And you put everything in there. That's pretty nice a little shelter. Yeah, they are. They're, uh... So here's the seat house. The vestibule is pretty big. About I'd say about three and a half by about two, two and a half, about two feet by three and a half. It's good size for your boots and water bottles. This tent is almost the same exact tent as the Terra Nova, uh, the the two person that I had. I sold that one, but this is almost the same exact. Maybe the Terra is a little bit bigger because you could put two people in it. You can't do that in this, can you? <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, it must be a little wide. It's a little wider than this. Yeah. It sleeps one comfortable. And I, I'm happy with that. You know, because nobody goes with me. So I, yeah. you know, my, my, none of my kids, I got four boys. <laughs> they don't like going. My daughter don't want to go. My wife don't want to go. They bring me up here and drop me off <laughs> and say, have fun. 
and then you see someone familiar walking past. And then I, yeah, <laughs> then I see somebody. Hey, I know him. Let's see your noodles. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. And then what else you got there? My little snack pack. <laughs> Chocolate pudding. <laughs> and? Oh, yes. And some wine <laughs> a little later on. Vintner's red. Red wine. My daughter picked it out for me. So I couldn't say no. What pan is that? This is... Um, I'm not lid. sure who makes it, but it's Pardon just a the, titanium. It just says titanium. Oh, uh, ever, ever new, ever new titanium. I've had this thing for probably 20 years. Wow. Yeah, I took the the handles off. I mean, well, you know, they're so flimsy. Yeah. I just took them off, and so. You use I've, that yeah, grabber I'd, there? Hmm. You use that grabber? Yeah. I just use one of these. I had a really good one, and I lost it, and I had to go out and buy another one. Well, hey, I'm trying this. The sweet and sour? This stuff is good, huh? It is. Excellent. It's, it's like uh, real stuff. Chinese food. Or as real as Southern California Chinese food. Pineapple, everything in it. You want uh, some soy sauce? No, no thanks. And I got my peach tea right there. I filtered some water. 